books and they're two different books. Oh, two different yes. books. Thou shalt prosper the Ten Commandments for making money right. and business secrets from the Bible. Okay, yes. it's wonderful. So maybe by way of introduction, you want to uh, tell us tell us again about you and uh, probably you know take us through two of them. I mean, yeah, sure, certainly. Uh, well, first of all, may I just say thank you very much for having me on the show. It is why I have only been in Ghana for um, 60 hours so far. <laughs> oh, wow. And um, I feel very much at home. I've been made to feel at home uh, here as a guest of, of Royal House Chapel. And um, I just want to thank everybody for making me feel so, so very welcome. Mm. Um, my ministry uh, revolves around the, the basic idea that for healthy living, people need functioning relationships with their family, with their God, with their friends, and the one big one that everybody neglects is a healthy spiritual relationship mm. with our money. Mm. Because for <laughs> many people, money is almost a bad word. People feel guilty mm. about wanting money. They feel guilty about making money. And they certainly feel guilty about speaking about money mm. within a spiritual context. You're looking at one sitting in front of you right now, sir. Yes. <laughs> I know that's... <laughs> It's, it's very, very common. Right. And so uh, uh, I found that people around the world were hungry for ancient Jewish wisdom mm. on the relationship that we have with God and with our money. Mm. And uh, I, uh, I found that, interestingly enough, this had a lot to do with the famous fact that uh, my people, the people of Israel, are um, disproportionately successful with money. They are good with money. Right. And uh, I realize, look, the reason for this uh, is very simple, and that is that they are comfortable with Hebrew scriptures mm. and hundreds and hundreds of embedded and encrypted uh, tips and tools and strategies mm. for how money works and how we have to relate to money and ultimately how to make it. Okay. And the reason that, uh, that this works so beautifully is that I think we all realize that no decent person can succeed at doing anything that deep in his heart he believes to be an evil activity. Okay. And so as long as people feel guilty about making money, mm. as long as people at the back of their mind have this idea that only poor people are virtuous and pious mm. and sacred and good. And holy and everything. And only poor people are holy and we're automatically suspect of rich people. Mm. Uh, we have to cure. We cure. have to cure that mindset. Yeah. Because if you believe that, then you are condemning yourself to right. perpetual poverty. Right, right. And I believe this is what, these are some of the things you are looking to uh, uh, unlock, you know, for us at the business, International Business Conference. It's happening, it's happening, uh, Papa is here. Uh, Papa, come, please come closer to my microphone. Yeah, uh, yeah, Papa is here. Welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Papa, no, Papa, Papa Kranchian Christ, uh, son of Apostle General. Uh, so Apostle General, Apostle General Baby. <laughs> it's great to have you. Great to thank have you, you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so you're you're also very very welcome. Uh, you this this program is coming off, uh, God willing, when and where? What's gave uh, birth to this? All right. So the program started yesterday and it's continuing tonight, uh, six p.m. at the Marriott Hotel, the right. International Business Conference. So, um, the Apostle General, um, in collaboration with one of his sons, Reverend John Sego. Mm. Um, came together and said, you know what, we need a program to conscientize the people of Ghana mm. about generational wealth. Okay. Um, it's not enough to think about wealth individually, mm. but we need to start thinking about the next generations to come. Mm. Uh, why have the people of Israel done it so effectively over the years? Mm. We need to tap into Asian Jewish wisdom. Mm. And uh, so we reached out to um, um, an individual who's an expert on this matter and um, to come for two days um, here in Ghana to come and be a blessing to us. 
So the program continues tonight, 6 p.m. at the Marriott Hotel at airport in Accra. If you don't get to make it tonight, the rabbi will be with us at Royal House Chapel Obechi Bilamti Circle mm. um, on Sunday, two services, 7 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Okay. Yes. But um, uh, if I may just add, yes, please. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, mm. but I think that even people who were not at the part one last yes. night are yes. welcome yes. to come tonight. Definitely. Definitely. Right. And we'll, we'll make sure that they are up Definitely. to speed with everything that's yes. going on. We'd welcome. Talk talk a bit about Ten Commandments for making money. Yes. Yes, please. Sure. Uh, well, the uh, one of the most important ones is uh, recognizing the virtue of making money. Mm. Now, I sometimes make my audiences very uncomfortable, okay. which I kind of enjoy doing. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and what I, I say is, who here wants to make a lot of money? Okay. And people like look down, you know, they don't want to. Yeah, they're they're not too sure if you want to slip up your hand. Yes, exactly. Yeah. They don't know what to do because <laughs> this is, could go very badly. <laughs> so, and eventually I say, look, I don't understand why you are frightened of being honest. I don't believe there's a single person in this room, including me, who would not like to make more money. Mm. Why is this so hard for you to say? Mm. And the answer is because you believe that it's a result of greed. Mm. You are being a morally unworthy person. You are letting God down mm. by wanting something as earthly as money. Right. And you don't want to say it. But now that we've established that you all really would like to have more money, tell me why. Okay. And I let people answer in the audience, and everybody has the same answer. Because then I will be able to bless my church. I will be able to give more to the poor. I'll be able to help charities and ministries. I'll be able to take better care of my family. Or That's how people answer. Mm. And I say, stop, stop, stop right there. That's not the reason. Mm -hmm. Those are very nice things, but you cannot bribe God. Oh, God, please give me more money because I'll help your poor. Right. Uh, you know, God says, sorry, you're barking up the wrong tree. I don't do bribery. Right. Uh, no. Why do you want more money? I'll tell you why. Because it proves that you have served God's other children. Because if you are not taking money away from somebody at the point of a gun, and if you're not reaching into their pocket and taking their wallet, and if you are not defrauding them, then the only way that you obtain money is by pleasing another human being. Somehow, okay. you are doing something. It might be your boss. It might be a customer. It might be a client. It might be a relative. But somebody willingly and happily and voluntarily put money in your hand or in your pocket. They did that because whatever you did for them was worth more to them mm. than the money. And so I want to make more money because I want to serve more of God's children. And if I have more money in my pocket, that is proof that that is exactly what I did. We don't think of money as money. We think of it as certificates of good performance. That money proves say, say, that say I... Say that again. Say that again. To me, money is not just currency. It okay. is certificates of, of good, good performance. That money proves that I pleased another human being. So, so means means if you, have not, if you have not performed good, you can get it. If you have not performed good, you cannot get it. You cannot get it. That is correct, yes. I mean, so the in the commandment, in the, in the commandments, it's about high, how many chapter book? Um, ten main chapters, one for each commandment, mm. and uh, right. and what I've done is I've taken uh, many, many, many of the tips and tools in the Old Testament in the Hebrew Scriptures, mm. and I've condensed them into ten main fundamental strategies right. for success. Right. And in the other book, Business Secrets from the Bible, the subtitle of that is forty spiritual strategies for financial abundance you have some of the books around uh, we have them there tonight okay tonight at okay. the marriott uh, okay. they are available it's, it's it's interesting you know what do you talk about i mean so what what man does you know what man does in order to uh to be seen as having performed well yes so that you can have the certificate you know for yes. good performance that's right it, it's it's crucial isn't it I think it is, and uh, and certainly the Hebrew scriptures are filled with this idea. For instance, um, 
it doesn't say that uh, when things are going well with Israel, every man will sit under a fig tree in the local park. Right. It's every man will sit under his own fig tree. Okay. In other words, owning your property is important. It's very important. Mm. Uh, it's important to tithe and give away 10% mm. of what? Somebody else's money? No, the money you, you made. made. Mm. But the making of that money is a result of the good you do to other people. And that's why uh, in, in ancient Jewish wisdom, we would never pray to God, oh, dear God, I've, I need another $200 uh, uh, to make the rent this month. Please send me some money. We'd never say that. Right. We'd say, please open my eyes to how I can serve some more of your children. Because if I take care of the needs of more of your children, the money will come automatically. Cause for sacrifice. In some cases, you don't... You are you are just not in the position to do anything, and you don't also have much and all that. But you had to sacrifice. That's right, and you you have to seek ways to be of use to other people. Okay, that's that sounds great. You have to seek ways to be of use to others. Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay, that's <laughs> amazing. So when young people sometimes ask me, I'm I'm finishing school. What should I go into? Uh, and I say, well, what have people told you? And they say, oh, everybody tells me I must go into a field I enjoy. Mm. And I said, that's about the worst advice I've ever heard. Okay. It's the most selfish thing. You are being told to seek a, a, a job Gratification, self-gratification. Yes, exactly. Look, I, I like messing around in boats. Nobody wants to pay me to, to go boating. Mm. Nobody cares what I want to do. Mm. You, what you've got to do is find what other human beings need. Need. And then learn how to love filling that need. That brings you success. Wonderful. That's uh, Rabbi uh, Rabbi Daniel Lapin. He's actually uh, speaking this evening. Uh, time is 6 p.m. at Marriott's Hotel. And um, he's talking about... Uh, you know, it's, it's a international business conference, really. It's basically about increasing your revenue. Increasing, increasing, increasing wealth. Yeah, it's how to increase the money you make because it's a good thing to do. I'm sure it's about... <laughs> You need the whole of Ghana to be there. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very much... Look, that's, that's why uh, the uh, Apostle General arranged for me to come mm. here. That is why I'll be speaking at Royal House Chapel on Sunday right. morning at both services. Right. Uh, and I, I will feel uh, hugely blessed if I can help bring this message of holy prosperity uh, to all of this wonderful and country. It will, be, it will be amazing to sit under your feet, God willing, uh, later this evening to... Have some more. So, Mike, I just want to add that the program yeah. tonight is free. Okay, so don't, it's, it's don't, not paid for. No, it's not paid for. Okay, well, he, he's seeking he's seeking a way to enlarge his wealth, isn't it? <laughs> no, I just I just want to say it's it's free to participants. Yes, but um, Royal House is paying a lot of money to make it all happen uh, because absolutely. they see the value uh, absolutely. of it. Absolutely. So so somebody is is seeking to actually increase their certificates of performance. <laughs> Correct. That Come is on, the idea. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. So uh, we want to say a great God bless you to the Apostle General. Uh, uh, Reverend, Reverend, Reverend Dr. Sam Kranchiankra, contacts just in case somebody wants to, uh, you know, contact you for any any directions or, or further inquiries of the program. Papa, you want to help us? Yes. Mm. Um, so they can text. They can first of all, we have our, our landline number is zero three zero two two four zero zero eight seven zero three zero two two four zero zero eight seven. You can also text or call 050-1800-100. Say that, that the last one. 050-1800-100. Mm. Okay. But the best thing is just be there at just the Marriott. Be there. Just, Marriott just be there. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yeah. Marriott Hotel. Hall. Okay, that's mm. where in Krumah Hall is, yes. is where the program is Just happening. Just follow the crowds. Yeah, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 wonderful. It's wonderful having you. So we want to end it here. Any final words uh, before you before you leave us? Well, thank you for giving no, me this opportunity to, to speak to Ghana. Uh, this this show is 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 heard everywhere, and mm. I I'm, I feel privileged to be uh, allowed to be here. So thank you very much, Pastor Mike. I appreciate your hospitality. Well, we do same, and uh, that's 
so what's your uh let me give you a, a bigger title it can't, it can't be it can't be it can't be beyond your dad <laughs> <It's very much. laughs> it's wonderful to have you Thank uh you man of god man of god because you're not alone another one is here Osofo, what's your name it's great to have you as well in the studio. My studios. name is uh, Pastor Eddie Bryan. Okay, wonderful. And he sounds very wonderful as well. God bless all of you for coming. And uh, we'll see you at Marriott Hotel 6 p.m. Uh, for the International Business Conference. I definitely will be there. I want to make more money. Uh, why not? I'm so I'm so happy you you say that and you say that with sincerity and a full heart. I I, I and, sincerely want to make a yes, lot of money. Of course, a lot of a lot of certificates for performance. Yes, I'm telling you. God you help people every morning.